Hello everyone, today I am reviewing the Optimus Primal So this is from the Transformers Rise of the Beast So this is the front cover, as you can see the box is bigger than normal Then this one shows uh, Optimus Primal This is the name right here, the name, the logo And Studio Series 106 This side here shows what he transformed into He's like another version of Optimus Prime then the back here shows his transformation so the box itself looks pretty nice it's really big and this is what he looks like in you know the toys so from back here to the front he is cable free so there isn't any like signs of transformation and I would say the Autobot is a 10 out of 10 and you can see right here for the face, the body, and the legs. The fur and all is really nice. The armor too is really nice. And the weapons, there are plenty of weapons like this blade right here. So you're gonna get two of these, an axe, this, and also this uh, weird thing, spine thing. I don't know what it's called, but you can attach this with the weapons. And then you will get this. So this is uh, also includes in a box and it's really cool. So we're gonna see him in monkey version. I don't even know. Let's go. Okay, so this is what he looks like. So as you can see from here that he is a um, gorilla. So for the front itself, it is really really detailed But some people might not like the legs because it's not covered Like you can see uh, It's more robotic As the Autobot mode is doesn't look like this But personally, I don't mind because it still looks cool And this is the back right here As you can see the head, there's a, a hole there because you're not supposed to It's not supposed to put the head like this Rather, you can you have to put it here like this, cause you know he's a, he's supposed to go lean lean like that. But for the video, I'm just gonna show you like this. So the back here is really detailed too, and the transformation from the Autobot to this is ten out of ten. It is satisfying, and this is the back of the legs. So you kind of see the foot right there, which again some people may not like it. But it's still really cool. So, from all honesty, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. And the best part is, it comes with the scenery inside that I forgot to mention. So, the scenery is quite big. As you can see, the box here is like really big. As you can see right here, this is not the scenery, but this is. Let me just open this huge box. So, if you focus on the scenery alone, it is really detailed as this is actually from the movie too, obviously. And uh, the art is a 10 out of 10. I really like it. And yes, it does fit even though it's kind of big but it can fit inside. And then the instruction too, it's quite long. So there's a few steps and right here it shows these weapons, how you can connect the weapons and all. And then the left here is the transformation and also the back. Yeah. So overall it might look complicated but it is satisfying to do. And I'll give these instructions a uh, maybe 8 out of 10 because you don't really sometimes in these steps right here you can't really understand it at first. But if you pay attention, you might. So that's all for this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.